Double Primer is back-to-back -back conversations with someone passionate about their work and passionate about someone else's work, mostly art and mostly Atlanta. I'm your host, Sean Mills. All right, so we're talking again with Tony, and today we're talking about Pianos for Peace, a project in Atlanta. And uh, Tony has actually been here for the ground floor of this. This is the second year. Mm -hmm. It's a festival now. In the month of September, there will be pianos that are playable all over the city yep. in um, community areas and shopping centers, mm -hmm. and they'll, they're decorated by local artists. So um, I'm talking to Tony because he was there on kind of the ground floor, and can you tell me about like your first um, experience with Piastro Peace and, and how they got started here at Cell Phone? Well, my first experience was, it was their slogan. I, met, I think I met the founder, and their slogan was like, uh, building peace through music and education. And uh, I was invited to the, the a performance, and it was at the airport. So I saw the founder, and they had a compute. They had a piano that was already someone designed it. And when I listened to the concept and what he was doing in their team, I was like, "Oh, that is dope! I would love to be a part of something like that." And just so happened, he got in contact with my leadership over arts and culture. I think it was my deputy, and uh, my deputy director of the arts and culture, and. You know, one thing led to another where all of a sudden all the art centers had pianos. And so at that point, it was just like um, it kind of came to us organically. And typical great art initiatives are kind of like that. So it came to us organically and it was like, oh, yeah, we have, you know, I was like, oh, I have Ren here. You know, Ren had uh, Sonny D and we had several other artists, but Sonny D is somebody he works close with. And um, so they actually designed the four pianos that came here. And then the other pianos were designed by other designers within the department uh, that were connected to us or whatever. And it was at other art centers. And so uh, when it was time to showcase the pianos, I thought it was even cooler when I I went somewhere. I think I went to the Woodruff Center to, to like an award show. And I saw a Piano for Peace sign there. I mean, a Piano for Peace piano there right. with that sign there, Piano for Peace on it. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. So when I saw that, I thought it was great to be connected to 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 be connected to a great art initiative, but more importantly, that saying at the bottom where it says building peace through music and education, I was so with that because that's kind of like in line with what I was doing. So it's just one of the things where if it makes sense, I roll with it. Yeah. And yeah. what's so interesting to me is that I've seen in other cities, like the city of Merida has these statues of turtles and mm -hmm. people and chickens and in Athens they have bulldogs and people paint them but the land is special because you can actually play these pianos absolutely and they've committed to letting people play them and they're yep. gonna have people tuning them yep. and if it rains they're gonna have someone cover it with the tarp so it doesn't absolutely. get ruined absolutely. Um, so and so there's that interactive aspect and also goes for the audience too because they're gonna have an app where people can like look up on their phone where they are yeah. and they can go find them yep. which is like a kind of fun game yeah. for fans. no absolutely it's it's promoting, the, it's promoting, it's such a symbolic, metaphoric way of outreach. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I was like, man, I was a genius. This, so the, the, the founder can never step in this building if he don't want to. But he don't have to. His, his work is, is spreading peace through music and education. And, and I mean, you just really can't, you really can't uh, kind of go, go against something like that. I thought it was great for our department to kind of take that project on. And another way that it's kind of impressive I think is that it also has opportunity for people to put more creativity in it mm -hmm. so it's not just everyone do what I say it's each artist comes up with something different and you actually had a, a cool spin on it where we're looking right now in this facility from last year um, that you you had the insight to let the local teenagers actually work yeah, on it. Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, it was um, when they came to me, it, like I said, it was organic. So I was like, oh, we're about to do summer camp. I got teen visual artists. Yo, go to the instructor because they have their own plan and thing. But when I went to the instructor, Miss Vanita Hardy at the time, she was like, yeah, we would love that. You know, right. the kind of, so it, they included that in their whole project and then when we had the um the exhibition at the end of the summer for the teen artist academy guess what we showcased right the piano and all the other work so it was like bingo they loved it so downtown and i say downtown because downtown is the that is the administrative office mm -hmm. and typically um we kind of kind of say hey look this is what's working this is not working so on and so forth but i think they're going to incorporate that next year um, and yeah, as educators, I think that's so critical that like 
when you're doing things theoretically, that's good too. It's like doing practice. But then Absolutely. when you're doing something, you know the public's going to see it. It yeah. kind of takes everybody to another level. Yeah, totally. totally. And, and they, there's more investment. There's more like critical thinking. Yeah, and totally. I, you can't really replace that. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. But you know, the beauty of it is, is that I, I've never met you before. Mm-hmm. And you know, the fact that we're having dialogue about it, I know that you know this form of interview style is outreach, but. You know, the the unique thing is that the beauty of the potential on where our relationship can go, you know, just from this exchange and just being an artist yourself and me being an artist and working here and knowing that there is some possibility of us connecting beyond this place. Mm -hmm. You know, I attribute to Pianos of Peace. You know what I'm saying? And so just imagine how many other relationships are manifesting as a result of that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, yo, that's that's the beauty of art. What are you um, looking forward to? Will you be visiting different sites? Do you think like you're going to... For the piano for yeah, peace? Yeah. What I'm going to do is... Um, my initial focus is to tighten things up here mm. at South Fulton. I'll always see... Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm out in the community yeah. all the time. So I'm almost sure. You can't sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'm almost sure I'll see them. I will try to figure out, you know, the app piece once things are kind of situated. I will sure. try to get a schedule or a map. Yeah. Just to see where things are, and then you know, mm-hmm. doing doing some downtime that I'll definitely try to make it a, a plus to go. But I would love to see pianos for peace and like music concerts, whether it's hip hop, whether it's classical music, whatever. I think because I have a philosophy about music to understand people's struggles. Sometimes you represent music that rep- you listen to music that represent their struggle, mm-hmm. and it kind of gives you a little insight. Not the whole thing, but you get like, oh, okay. You know, um, I was listening to a brother give an explanation about hip hop, and he had to be very clear. You can listen to certain certain pieces of hip hop, and you can get a glimpse of somebody from the African American community, but it don't mean it represents the entire for African sure. American. So it's one of those things where, you know, I think piano for peace should be in every platform and every genre of music spread throughout Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know, the message is powerful, and I love I love the fact that Arts and Culture of Florida County decided to partner with this nonprofit. Right, and so people interested can look it up on pianosforpeace.org. And um, one last thing I'll just plug is the fact that while I was here physically painting my, my piano, uh, a mother brought her child to pick up her ceramic work. Yeah. And she saw the piano, and she was saying, I'm thinking about donating a piano I have in my garage. Wow, and see? So, like, <laughs> it's like there's so many different yeah. things to this. And, yeah. and just being present, yeah, it facilitates a lot of these conversations. No, absolutely, so I totally. Think it's a great program. Totally, 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 totally. So, thank you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm honored by your energy, man. And I will, um, I'll say something that I live by, and you'll find this to be very true. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah. Find more information at doubleprimary.com.